What I want to do today is connect our Slack and Google Meets app so that whenever a new order is created in our Slack app, a new invoice will be sent out via Google Meets. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you can try and risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Slack to trigger my Google Meets app, I'll need to use Slack as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Slack sees a new message has been sent out into our selected channel, it's going to run this workflow. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Message Posted to Channel as my event and click Continue. The first time we set up Slack, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Slack account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. We'll then need to set up our trigger apps data. Under channel, choose the channel you'd like to use for your Zap. I'm going to click general and then I'll click continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click test trigger. You're all set with the first step. Let's move on to our action step. Type in Google Meets into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click Schedule a Meeting and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Google Meets with Zapier, just like I did with Slack. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue and we can start to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps field. First, choose the calendar you'd like to use for your Zap. Next, type in the summary of your Zap. I'm going to type in a custom message. I'll type meeting created by and then click username on the drop down. Under description, I'll type a custom message once more. I'll click username and then type has created a meeting. Please confirm that you can make it. Next, I'll select the times. I want my meetings to be set up for the next day at noon. So under the start date and time, I'll type tomorrow at noon and on the end date and time, I'll type tomorrow at 1 p.m. Last, I'll type in my attendance email and click continue. Click test action, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime a new order is created in our Slack app, a new invoice will be sent out via Google Meets. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.